Beardo Benjo. Hello there, everyone. I hope you're all having a fantastically relaxing weekend and playing plenty of Animal Crossing New Horizons. I have played a disgusting amount that I would not like to admit to you, um, but I'm having a blast. I'm absolutely loving the game so far. Um, I just wanted to make a really quick video because I found something out today that not everyone will know. I'm sure most of you probably will, um, but just wanted to share something that I think is super cool and I haven't seen it or known about it in the other games. Now the thing I wanted to share with you is, is this. It's how to get your own pictures, photos, memes, images, anything you want into the game, imported in. I've done it there with my little Beardo Benjo logo. I haven't had to sit and uh, draw that myself. Normally that's what you'd have to do. Uh, you'd obviously open up your uh, custom designs and you would sit and draw it out. But as you can see here, I've got some photos as well. So you can actually import photos, images, memes, literally anything you want into the game. I'll show you a few more in my house. By the way, check out my house, it's, it's wonderful. Got a bunch of trees growing at the back there that I've kind of, I've got a little row of orange trees. I think these are, these are peaches. I think these are gonna be apples. I've got my coconuts on the beach. It's coming along, it's coming along. You can tell I've played it quite a bit today. Um, my house is a bit messy. There's no real structure to it yet. I'm just throwing cool stuff in there when I find it. Um, but what I wanna show you are these photos. Let's turn the lights. Mm, I like it like that. So. As you can see, I've got pictures on the wall there. These are actual photos that I have in, in my own house. Uh, I've got a picture of my, my hedgehog, uh, Morty, who I don't have anymore, he passed away, but I do have a picture of Morty on the wall there. I've got a picture of my cat, Mimi, and I've got a picture of me and the wife <laughs> on our wedding day uh, on the house in Animal Crossing. I've also got a, a, a black eye because I was stung by a wasp. It looks wicked. They're kind of like low poly, um, kind of blurry versions of the pictures, but I think they look really cool within the game and they do the job fantastically. Um, and it's super easy to do it. Um, all you need to create these pictures or get pictures into the game that you want yourself um, is a smartphone, obviously a Switch, obviously a copy of Animal Crossing, um, and access to an internet browser. You can actually do it on your phone, um, and I'll show you how to do it now. Okay, so first things first, this is the website you need to come to. This website is acpatterns.com. I'll chuck that up on the screen, but yeah, acpatterns.com, Animal Crossing Patterns. Now, this website is super easy to use. All you need to do is go to Editor, and then when you're in the Editor, go to Convert, um, and from here, you can pick any picture you want um, that you might have found online or you might have on your computer or on your phone. It does work on your phone. I used it to create mine just sitting on my phone on the, on the couch, but I'm showing it uh, to you here just for the purposes of this video. So I'll pick one of my silly little thumbnails um, that I use for my videos. Let's choose, let's choose this one. I look happy in this one. There we go, All right. Choose the area of the picture. So that's what I wanna, that's what I want to be on my wall hanging there in Animal Crossing. Hit next and then you get this. So you get this low poly, version kind of really pixelated uh, and it tries to work it out with a few kind of options here so if you drop the quality down you'll see it kind of it impacts it so the higher quality is a little bit more kind of smoothed out you can see the transition between the colors and then when you go to down down to sharp pixels sometimes i think that looks a bit better you kind of get a little bit more kind of definition between the pixels and you kind of get in my opinion kind of a a more accurate depiction of the colors of the original photo. But it's, it's all personal preference. It's what you want in your house in Animal Crossing. So um, yeah, pick whichever one you feel is best. And then on here, you can just pick kind of uh, the, the color palette that it's using um, to kind of connect to the colors that are originally on the photo. So it, it can't always get the exact colors, um, but it can get to the, to the nearest RGB, nearest YUV or quant quantize by median cut. I don't know what that means, um, but it, but it's there. Once you've done it, hit convert. Now in here, you can still muck about with it. So if you wanted to, I could draw my eyes back in, but then it makes me look a little bit insane up there <laughs> in the uh, top corner. I don't now know how to undo it. So we'll have to just stick with that with the crazy little eyes. Let's just say that's what we want to do. Um, so here's one that I haven't destroyed by putting weird little eyes on it. Um, and that is basically what I'll say is the final result. Um, what you'll also notice is this particular picture that I've used as a PNG, so it's not going to have any background. So I think when you drop this into the game, um, it will show up, I think, as a, as a kind of a cutout. So if you laid it on the floor, it would only 
it would only be me. I wouldn't have any of these other, uh, the, the kind of white background, it would just be me. So if you do use PNGs, uh, it does have the ability to do transparent sections, which is really, really cool. If you wanna make like a little carpet that's just your face or your cat's face or something like that. So yeah, there's a lot of cool options, but once you've got the result that you want, hit generate QR code, there it is, save that which comes down here, open it up, and there you go, you've got a QR code. Super, super simple. The next step you take from there requires you to have the Nintendo Switch Online mobile phone app. Now, once you've downloaded the Nintendo Switch Online mobile phone app, uh, you open it up and you'll see in there that there's a few kind of options for different games, voice chat and things for Mario Kart, Splatoon, etc. Go into Animal Crossing, of course, because that's the game we're playing. And once you're in the Animal Crossing uh, section of the app, you'll see kind of a little bit like your Nook Inc. phone in the game. You've got a bunch of uh, choices of, of options in there. Now, one of them is to download custom designs. Uh, when you click on the custom designs tab, you'll see that it basically just has a QR scanner. Now, when you've gone on to the uh, design bit and you can see the QR scanner, hit scan QR code. And then it's as simple as scanning the QR code you've just created on your PC. Uh, or on your phone or wherever you've created it and that will import it into the app. So once you've done that and you've got the downloaded image on your phone in the app, in the Nintendo app, must, I must say as well, uh, if you haven't already set it up, you do need to link your Nintendo Switch online app on your phone to the same Nintendo account that you're playing on on your Switch. It's common sense, but I'll just say it just in case you don't um, and then you won't understand why you can't see the images coming up in your game. Um, once you've got the image downloaded and it's on the app when you come back to animal crossing you open up your nook phone go to custom designs and then you find an empty slot now when i try and do this now it isn't going to do anything um, because i don't have an image set up and ready to go on my phone but if you hit download you'll get this little message here do you want to connect to the internet and download a custom design yes please there we go. So I'm getting a message. We couldn't find any downloadable custom designs because there isn't one sitting currently on my app ready to be imported. If you'd followed all the steps I've gone through before this, though, it would say we found one. Choose a slot. You select a slot there within the uh, within the phone and within the custom designs and it saves it. And then that's it. It is done. Once you've done that, you can do anything. Uh, this, I can spread that in the room. I can have it on the floor as is. And it is my new carpet i didn't know i could do that that's incredible horrific uh terrifying but incredible and then you can use all these photos and designs as as i say canvases on the wall you can have carpets clearly uh you could i could i assume you can have them as wallpaper as well and then you can also have them as little little easels that you can kind of pop around your your island like this here how cool is that so yeah, super, super simple process. I will put kind of a brief description, sorry, of how to do it down in the uh, description of the video as well. If you get stuck, just refer to that. Um, but yeah, it's super easy to do. Um, the results are varying, but I think regardless of how kind of crisp and uh, the clarity of the image, they all look good within the game. If they don't look great on your, uh, if you're sitting there at the PC and you look at it and go, that doesn't look great. When you import it to the game, they do look really, really cool. So well worth a go, but you can get your favorite memes, uh, video game box arts, photos of loved ones, anything you want in Animal Crossing without having to sit there and tap out each individual pixel. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully it's new information for you. Um, I'm going to jump back into the game now and play some more because I am fully addicted. I have some sturgeons to catch and it's quite late at night, so it's time to go and find some tarantulas. Uh, I hope you're all well. I'll see you soon for another one. Take care.